Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to me feeling incredibly dirty. I feel disgusted with myself because I'm moving away from Cody, potentially. For the first time in 10 years, I'm going to try Plex instead of Cody and basically see if it's better. Um, I don't know yet, of course, because I'm just making this up as I go along and I haven't even started filming yet. Uh, so I'm going to ask my future self, uh, Paul, what do you think in the end? Did you enjoy Plex? Is it better than Cody? I'm not telling you. Well, that's just rude. Oh, well, don't tell me then. We'll find out. It's time once again to play Discover with Paul, where he has no idea what he's doing and signs up to a service he knows nothing about. It went really well last time, so we're gonna do it again. Uh, so apparently we need to sign up for Plex, which sucks already. Um, it's a Facebook-owned service, so it's no great surprise because well, it's Facebook, isn't it? Um, I'm not going to sign up with Facebook, though. Screw them. I'm going to sign up with my email. So that's it. I'm signed in and already it's trying to sell me stuff, so I'm not going to buy anything from you. I'm sorry. I'm used to Cody where everything's free, so I will not be signing up for anything. Uh, let's go, um, screw yourself. <laughs> Get to your Plex media server. I think I'm going to need to do that on my uh, other computer. So I'm going to need to do that on my PC downstairs. Sign in. And I need the Plex media server for Windows because I am going to be serving files to other computers on my network. So I'd like to run that, please. Launch. Oh, I think it's running. It's... <laughs> There's this thing down here. What's that doing? Open Plex. Okay, so the media server is now running, which means that other instances of Plex around the network will be able to access whatever files Plex has scanned in. That's at least the way I understand it. Uh, at the moment, Plex hasn't scanned in any of my movies or TV shows. They all exist in folders on this computer, uh, and all I need to do is tell Plex where those movies and TV shows are so that it can scan it to the library and then issue it to other PCs on the network and probably even on the internet. I might even be able to get this stuff on my mobile phone if I'm out of my house. I don't know yet, I'll soon find out. Uh, sign in. I now feel like a doofus for explaining that on the previous screen because that's exactly what Plex is now telling me. It's telling me that it's going to run on this computer, it's going to scan for my media, and then it's going to play my media on any screen with your favourite Plex app. My favourite Plex app! Like I've got a favourite. <laughs> got it. Oh look, it's trying to sell me stuff again. Sod off. Great, we found a server. So this server is the bunker. Um, that is already its name, so that's cool. Allow me to access my media outside my home. Yeah, there you go. So uh, bizarre. I totally predicted all of the things it's going to do. Um, it seems to, uh, to me, so far to be a more streamlined experience than Cody already. Um, I suspect this is just going to go and look for stuff very, very soon. Cool. Add library. Um, music? Okay, so I'm going to leave it named music, and I'm going to add folders, and I'm just going to tell it where the music- Oh, this is so easy. It's too easy! It's too easy! It doesn't seem like a Hibbert home tech thing to do. It should be very difficult and complicated, but this is not that at all. It's very easy. iDrive, music. Okay, add. That's all of my music. Do that. Uh, options? Access to the best artwork, artist bios, album reviews, and more using Lyric Find. Create a premium plan. No. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if the free version is going to give me nice artwork or not. We'll soon find out. Maybe I'll pay for it one day. Maybe. Cool. So it's got like access to Last FM to do some other stuff as well. All very good. Add library. So that's just photos and music. Can I add TV shows? That would be good. Yep. Uh, name TV programs is fine by me. Add folders. Browse for media. <gasps> Far too easy. Far too easy. Let's do add library one more time then for movies, uh, films. Uh, add library. Let's do it. Okay, next. Get Plex apps. I will, but I imagine I'm going to have to do that on different systems. So, I am done. That is mental. Far too easy. Hang tight. I'm going to have to hang tight. Uh, I will hang tight for a while. I probably won't make you wait with me, because that would be very boring for you. Uh, I shall come back any moment when this is finished making me hang tight. That took all night long. 
It took a very long time. So it's uh, now got all of the artwork for all of my music, and it's categorized them into their individual categories, so I'll be able to use Alexa to call these things up. It's done the same thing with my films, and it's done the same thing with my TV shows. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go up here and go to Account. And we need to set a password. So at the moment, if we want to be able to access the things on this computer from, say, a laptop or a tablet or a mobile phone or even another PC, we're going to need to authenticate across our network onto this machine. So I'm going to set myself a password here. And save changes. And I'll press refresh because it's still saying not set. And you can see it's now showing that I've actually got a password. So, theoretically, if I now go back to my normal PC, so I've minimised TeamViewer, which is where I was looking at the living room PC, and I'm now actually on this PC. Uh, and I'm going to search down here for Plex. And install. And I'm going to wait for it to download. And it's going to take forever. Plex just got installed. Take a look. Launch. Yeah. Cool. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally guessing my way through, but yep, I figured it was going to ask me to sign in, and I'm hoping against all hope that it's actually going to marry the two things together without me having to do anything clever. I did notice the username was googlemail.com rather than gmail.com, so that's the first thing I'll point out to you if you're following along at home. <laughs> it's all going terribly well, isn't it? That is looking good already. Look at that. So... Uh, this is, like you would have with Cody, this is Plex, and I think, yeah, I can full screen it, uh, and this is pretty, I like this. I'm assuming that you can reskin it, uh, but I quite like that already, and I'm just going to pick any old TV show, uh, and I'm going to try and play an episode. Already it's making some noise, it's doing something. And I'm being charged for something. Thanks, Plex, you greedy, greedy people. So it looks like I'm going to have to pay for something. Um, so I am being told to activate now for £4.19. I have bought Plex. I feel dirty. I feel very, very dirty indeed. I hate paying for things. Okay, let's play. Uh, restart. And it's just going to play the episode now, so that's it. One-off purchase, and I can play all of my own media across my network. That's great. So it looks like I can play my music and my films and my TV shows all across the network with very, very little effort indeed. Look at that. I am really pleased. I've got to say, if that's it, if it's only £4.19 and I can do this on any device, then I'm already more impressed with this than Cody because I haven't had to do anything, really. All I've done is I've set up an account, uh, set something up on my PC downstairs, set something up on my PC upstairs, and I can now share files across the network. <gasps> so easy. So if you're wondering why my future self was so irritable at the beginning of this video, that's because my future self had a horrible hangover. Um, I was doing this last night. And now I feel like ass. But I'm going to try and be up a beat anyway, because otherwise this is going to be a very boring video. So let's talk about Plex and what I think of it. So let's start out by telling you everything I absolutely love about this software, and there is quite a lot, I have to say. These are big, big important things to me. First of all, the setup was a breeze, and it's got every device connected without me doing any kind of networking whatsoever. Uh, it's on my phone, it's on my tablet, it's on my laptop, and it's on my PC, and with the Alexa skill, it's on here as well. And they're all interacting, so I can use this thing to start music on that thing, or vice versa, uh, and I can use her to do it. So I'm going to give it a go now. Alexa, ask Plex to play songs by Nora Jones on Music Room PC. Playing music by Nora Jones. And it just works. <laughs> How good is that? Um, Alexa, ask Plex to stop. Okay. And... Bye. In exactly the same way, Alexa, ask Plex to play songs by Nora Jones on Paul's phone. Playing music by Nora Jones. Way too good. Way, way, way too good. 
So first of all, a thank you to the people that recommended the Plex service to me. It was recommended by you guys. Uh, it wasn't just one person, it was loads of people, and it was off the back of uh, me showing you the My Media skill. Uh, My Media skill allows this thing to play your MP3 collection from your PC or your Apple Mac or your Raspberry Pi or whatever, uh, and I think it's amazing. At only three to four quid a year, I think it is, for the subscription to My Media, it does an amazing job. And everyone said, Bro, try Plex! Plex is free! Do it with Plex! Do it with Plex! Plex is free! Um, Plex is not free, so that's my first quandary here. Uh, Plex costs, it's cost me about eight quid already, and that's before I've gone down the route of having a Plex Pass, which technically I don't need, which is cool, uh, but it also doesn't work very well. Um, I've noticed the Alexa skill, it works great for some things and really badly for others, uh, and I have a problem I have not yet been able to solve. Allow me to demonstrate. Alexa. Ask Plex to play songs by Nora Jones. Playing music by Nora Jones. Oh good. Oh bad. No, nothing. It's not working. Um, I've tried everything that I can think of. I've disconnected her, I've reconnected her, both physically and software-wise. I've done everything, and it does not work. I really wanted to see Netflix and Amazon video here, and it isn't. Um, I know it's not there in Kodi either, but I kind of thought, with this being a more professional setup owned by a big old fat corporation, that I would be seeing it, and I'm not seeing it, and that is a shame. Am I going back to Kodi? I don't know! It's going to drive me insane trying to make that decision, because basically, Cody can do everything Plex can do, and Plex can do everything Cody can do, but one does it slightly better in some areas, and the other does it slightly better in others, and so I'm really struggling to make that decision. I would like to say, if you're a dirty, stinking pirate and you like to steal streams off the internet, uh, you're probably going to want to go with Cody, because the plugins are more varied and vast and easier to install, and more importantly, if if you follow my video here, whichever side it's on, uh, you can get Alexa to control Kodi to launch those streams. You can't do that with Plex because the streaming plugins are, uh, they're what they call channels. And the channels aren't accessible using their official Alexa skills, so it can't do that. If, on the other hand, you're not the type to do the streaming stuff and you just want to access your local media library and get it on every device going, this is a much easier way of doing it. Uh, it's almost as malleable as Kodi, and the Alexa skill is way more functional. Um, it is beautiful. The Alexa skill made by uh, my mate Thomas Kislan and various other people who have made Kodi skills for Alexa is great. It's like a great start, but it is not finished yet. They are beta skills. Uh, they are not quite there. This is a completely working solution that does everything and is brilliant. I love both in equal measure, I think, and I'm not sure which I'm going to stick with personally. I will probably keep using Kodi just because my library is all up to date in there and I've marked things as watched over the last 10 years. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I will gradually transition to Plex just because of the simplicity of setting up new devices. I imagine when I next get a, a new set-top box, an Android box, I'm probably going to install Plex because it's much easier to get it working. That is it. I think I have made my decision. I'm sticking with Kodi, but as I get new devices, if Kodi doesn't pick up the pace with things like Alexa, I'm going to move to Plex. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you want to bash me in the comments because you prefer something that I didn't agree with, feel free. Bash me in the comments. I don't care. It'll just get me more hits, probably. Uh, and if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. And you can basically get each one to interact with one. So first of all, I need to point out that I... Alexa, and someone said, Oh, but Plex is free. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>